takes a camera and he sets it up like that. It's certainly strange. How could it not be? I mean, we're surrounded by buildings. We're in Manhattan. Like in Brooklyn, but it, it actually sort of manages to feel like a natural backyard. That's all. People love outdoor space, and no one has it. It's a luxury. If you have a 10-square-foot uh, patio off your apartment, I mean, you have something that 99% of the people in the neighborhood don't have already, let alone a 3,000-square-foot backyard. Uh, two L's, one P, or two P's? Yeah, same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have to fight right now. Who are best? Who are best? Who are best? That's something that I feel like a lot of us grew up with and it's something that we give up to move here. I feel like when you live in New York you give up a lot of standards of living and you know to be in a city like this and so having this open and available again is kind of like reminiscent of being back home. I never had a backyard with, with like street art on the walls. We um, provide this space and we provide four picnic tables, a grill, some coolers, your own porta potty. You know, they're pre-cooked, so technically you can just, you know, get them raw and slimy if you want, but that one's real good. Which the funds at all or okay. There's, yeah, yeah, we've got a couple plantains on here. Is this <laughs> if it could stay vacant forever, it would be the best secret little garden in all of Manhattan. It's the best location. It's the largest outdoor, grassed, sodded, whatever you want to call it, space, and it's perfect. I'm just gonna take one. Yeah, I don't want to okay. be. What, uh, are you the, the mastermind behind the banana? Uh, worried about it. <laughs> I think, uh, I just had a moment where I was like, they're but they have to be like kissing me.